Hey guys, welcome back to the comic book lowdown. I'm Wellington, and this is the third time I'm trying to make this video. Um, it's almost like it's not meant to be, but I'm going to make it meant to be. So, anyways, welcome to the Tampa Bay Comic Con Hall. Um, it's a long time coming, about a week. Uh, I've been busy, school, life, the works. I've explained the story twice now. I don't feel like explaining it again. Um, anyways... So, this video will just strictly be dedicated to Tampa Bay Comic Con. Um, I do have many videos to make, and I might be making them through not, throughout the night. Um, but, this video will be self-contained. Um, so anyways, Tampa Bay Comic Con, I went all three days, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Went to a couple panels, including ones featuring... Uh, Linda Hamilton and Matt Ryan, uh, aka Sarah Connor from the Terminator franchise, first two Terminator movies at least, and Constantine from the show Constantine, which was unfortunately not picked up as of yet at least, um, but probably won't be. Um, those panels were cool. I also went to a panel to a movie called Shooting Clerks, a movie about the kind of rise and production and everything surrounding the Kevin Smith Clerks movie, which I love, and I was a big fan of the panel. Um, anyways, and then cosplay Friday and Saturday, Deathstroke, or Daredevil, then Deathstroke, um, and Sunday I was regular. Um, Got a 3D print figurine made of myself in full Daredevil costume, which will be coming in a couple weeks, and I will show that once I get it, because that's freaking awesome. Um, and rain is the best way to describe everything outside of the con. Uh, just dangerous kind of rain. Unrelenting, just unforgiving rain, hurricane style. And I'm just glad that I survived it, because uh, it was a lot. Anyways, that's not what you guys want to hear. You guys want to hear me tell you guys about the books and stuff that I got from the hall, uh, from the con. So, on Friday, in Daredevil costume, I met Mark Wade, writer Mark Wade, who has been writing Daredevil for a couple years now, and will be soon coming off for Charles Soule to take over. Um, and he's been writing one of my favorite books, favorite, definitely favorite Daredevil books, but just favorite books in general. Um, and so meeting him was fantastic. He was a great guy. We took some pictures together. I'll put a link to my Instagram where I've posted the pictures from Friday. I still need to post the pictures from Saturday and Sunday, but Friday has all the Daredevil pictures and, um, I'll be posting that or I'll, I'll put a link to that so you guys can see that if you want to um, but meeting Mark Wade as Daredevil I had to get my Daredevil issue signed so I've got issue one signed put them here issue two and issues one two and three all have signatures from Paulo Rivera as well so there are two signatures on each of them I don't know where my issue four is. It might be, I might have gotten it signed. I might have spaced it. I don't know. But I don't have issue four on me right here. So issue five, though, got it signed right there. And then issue six, right in the bottom. Seven. And finally, eight. I don't know why I stopped at eight, but... I did. Um, so, meeting Mark Wade, fantastic. And then I got a bunch of trades as well. Um, and that is in a big pile behind me. Big, heavy stack of books. And starting with... Uh, oh, let me try to do that in order, at least. Semi-order. Um, this isn't going to look good on a bookshelf. When I know when I finally get one. But... I got them like this anyways, and this is Amazing Spider-Man The Gauntlet Volume 1, featuring Electro and Sandman, 
And then I have volume two, which is a hardcover, unlike the rest of the soft covers. And this is Vulture Morbius. I bought what they had, so. And then I have issue, or issue. This was volume three, not volume two, if I said volume two. Right? Volume three. They didn't have volume two, and they also didn't have volume four, so, but I got volume five, which is The Lizard. And this is the famous Shed story written by Zeb Wells, which I've heard great things about uh, as like a quintessential lizard story that is a must read for Spider-Man fans, and I've never read it. So, there is that. Um, let's see if I have any more trades other than the ones that I'm searching for. Okay, I've got these last two trades. Um, first one here is Hulk Gray. I now have the original trilogy of it, Hulk, well, Hulk Gray, Spider-Man Blue, which coincidentally I just finished reading right before making this video, um, and Daredevil Yellow. Um, I will plan to review them all together once Captain America White comes out in trade, which is going to be a long time till you get the reviews of these, I know, but, I mean, hey, I have to. Um, and then the final trade I got from the con was this big volume, volume one of Bendis' Dark Avengers with Mike Diodato on art, I think, the whole time. Um, it was pretty cheap and interesting. I really, I hear great things about Venice's New Avengers, so I figured they didn't have New Avengers on sale anywhere that I saw, but Dark Avengers, and I love Bendis, and why not check it out? It was cheap. And then, so, uh, segueing from the trades, we'll go to the single issues, and then we'll be out of here. Um, and I did get some pretty good stuff for singles. Uh, the first one I have here is The Amazing Spider-Man issue 245, the reveal of the Hobgoblin, which is really cool to have. I think I have this issue already, but I got it again if I do. And this is Wolverine 300, and that is by Jason Aaron with an awesome Wolverine cover. I'm pretty sure I did get doubles on stuff. Uh, this one, I not a double. First time having this book, and I got it pretty cheap. Um, and this is Amazing Spider-Man issue 361, first Carnage appearance. I was not looking for Spider-Man books, but I did buy a lot of them. Uh, so, there's that. Um, this one is probably the holy grail of the hall, for me at least, personally, because this is Amazing Spider-Man issue 654.1, and this is the first appearance of Flash Thompson's Venom, which I've never read this story, um, and I... As you guys might know, if you guys are longtime viewers of me, um, that Rick Remender Venom run featuring Flash Thompson as Venom might be my favorite book, favorite run of books I've ever read. Um, getting well, I'll go ahead and show some stuff off before I get into a groove of things. Uh, this one might be another double. Um, but anytime I see this book, I have to grab it. And speaking of Remender, it's Uncanny X-Force issue number one. I grabbed this for very cheap. Uh, maybe like $2. I don't know if it's worth anything, but anytime I see it, I have to grab it. And then um, here is one that I'm very just curious about. And this is called The Amazing Spider-Man um, Spidey Sunday Spectacular with Stan Lee writing and Marcos Martin on art. Um, I picked it up because it's a Stan Lee written Spider-Man story that is not 
from his original run and so I thought that would be pretty interesting to check out um, here's another interesting grab here and this is the Punisher meets Archie issue number one I really like the Archie version of the Punisher skull there it's pretty funny and cool there and then now as I get into the groove of books I've got some of these might be doubles again I did not come to Comic Con with a list or prepared at all which is my fault but uh, Daredevil 16 from the Bendis run which I might already have uh, these are in no particular order uh, Daredevil 80 from the Bendis run so from 16 to 80 which I might have um, then Daredevil 119 which I don't think I have this is from the Brubaker run I'm not sure if I have any Brubaker stuff to be honest and then jumping back down to issue 64 of Daredevil from the Bendis run and those are the issues those are the books that is the haul that is my comic-con experience and um, it was a lot of fun I do plan on just doing cons for three days now um, if I can because uh, one day at a con you just don't get the kind of experience that you do when you go all three days so that's what I plan on doing now um, it was a lot of fun again and um, yeah so I'll get out of you guys' hair I'm Wellington signing off for the comic book lowdown I'll see you guys next time